Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Here we are again on a Sunday afternoon, on a dull Sunday afternoon. Yeah, very grey. It's not raining. No, cold. Cold. Yes. Hence the winter Sweaters. jumpers. So, have you missed us? If you, wonder, if you wonder who we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ellie. I'm Ali. And we're the Yorkshire Dolly Mixtures. Some people have been asking why we're called Dolly Mixtures. Well, we're... We're a mixture. Yeah. We live in Yorkshire and we're a mixture of Yorkshire and Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. More Scottish than Yorkshire. Yeah. So... So there you go. Yeah. So here we are. Yorkshire Dolly Mixtures. So what have we got on today? Wow. We've got rolled ice. We have some finishes. Um, some chat about a recent retreat we were on. Yep. Um, some acquisitions. Just some. Just well, quite well. Some some people have got more than others. So what you need to do is get yourself settled down, grab a cuppa of your choice, although Ali's drunk all hers. It's, it's all gone. gone. It's all gone. Well, you drank it. Um, it's all lady like. You should see me with a bottle. Right, shall we go with finishes first? Yes. I know you want to brag. Yes. Right. So, you saw this, because this was, this was actually, believe it or not, last month's roll the dice, which I started at the Scottish retreat on the 1st of October. Scottish retreat. No, not the Scottish retreat, the Yorkshire retreat. I'm sorry, getting, it's a rage. Getting... You wait till you get to my age. And yeah, just imagine though when I get to your age, how old you'll be. Do you know she's got a way of making you feel really Yeah. Right. You love me really. Of course I do. This is Pie Menu by Country Cottage Needleworks, stitched on 28 count jobelin in bone using the cold four threads. And yeah, it took me about six weeks. I was hoping to get it finished at the Scottish retreat, but the last time we were on, I had run out of the green on the scrolls, so I couldn't go any further. I ordered the green scuppernal, it was called, from Julie at um, Arts and Designs in Dumfries, who brought her pop-up shop to the Scottish retreat. And she very kindly brought it along to the retreat, which allowed me to get stuck in and make great inroads. And I got as far as the sign and um, then when I was doing the frame, I ran out of the brown. And the lovely Sam, who is uh, one of our admins on the Yorkshire Stitching Retreats group, um, she came to my rescue and she sent me, um, it was Pecan, it was a week's dye works, Pecan. So she sent me um, what she had and it enabled me to finish it. And I was actually chatting to you guys, wasn't I? Yeah. When I finished it. Definitely. So they were there at the beginning and they were there at the end. So, so. yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. I am so pleased with it. And well you, done. And you guys are still reeling from the speed that I did it. <laughs> you can always tell when she likes something, she can't put it down. So, but well yeah. done with that. Yeah. We just need to see it framed now. Yeah, I'll need to uh, think about framing. I'll see what I've got upstairs in the craft room. 
but I don't think I've got anything long and narrow. They're more sort of square. Yeah. Um, but I'll have a look, see what I've got. Well done. Finished. Done that now. I've had a finish. <laughs> so, at the Scottish Street, I was starting Edna on that. Yes. So, let me just get the the book. So, <coughs> I apologise. So, I was starting this at the retreat and I decided to use a red silky thread. I hope it's gone. I saw it a little. I saw it a little. Yeah, yeah. I saw it just not very long ago. Yeah. When did I see it? It was over here. Anyway, we added it in red silky and we had a finish. Took me a week to do, and I couldn't put it down. There we go. And she's on 40 count Barely Bronze by Sparklies using 12 weight silky thread. So Which you would cleans. probably find once we sign off. Yeah. But I did, I saw it. I saw it when we come in. Oh, it's over there, look. It's on that table over there. I'll go and get it. But yeah, so, and watch her knock the camera. I won't knock the camera. There we go. You'd have laughed yesterday. She was getting it in and out of the car. She was backing out of the car. So I'm stood there going, beep, 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 beep. Everybody just cracked up laughing. So there we go. That's the sulky thread that I used. Now to get a friend. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with yeah. that. She's a nice stitch. Definitely. And you don't, you were, well, both of us were. At the retreat, I did 1600 stitches. Yeah. And I've never, ever, ever, in the whole time I've been doing retreats, done that amount of stitching yeah. at a retreat. I, d I did more, I did more stitching in one day than I previously done previously done on any weekends. Yeah. You know, for the whole weekend at it, any it, retreat I've been to. The the retreat was so relaxing and so enjoyable. Everybody just there was no drama, there was no shouting. We we had a really we nice did. weekend and, and it I, was lovely. And I sat up both Friday and Saturday night till you quarter did? to one in the morning, stitching. I didn't. No, she, she went off to bed. Yeah. But Gordon came over and kept me company. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Bless him. He was lovely. So, so that's um, our finishes. Yeah. Can you believe it? So, what's next? Roll the dice. Roll the dice. We rolled the dice yesterday. I remember to bring the dice with me. Thank you, Di. And um, all I rolled it once, didn't I? Yeah. Didn't I have to... Say we've only got three numbers left. You, you managed to roll one of those numbers out straight away. Yeah. Which were a bit surreal. Yeah. And we had a little chat from the landlord of the Red Lion at the start of it as well, which was nice. Stuart likes to get involved with this, doesn't he? He does, bless him. And he made us dinner for us. He did. Yeah. We were only people that got food yesterday. Yeah. So yeah, we'll explain all that later. Yeah. So yesterday's roll of the dice was number two. Tammy, we're on number two. And oh, Tammy, should, it, should, should we think she's shouting at me? No, I just okay. let her know because I said I would let her know. So okay. my roll the dice. Yeah, it is. Chanted I'm hoping to make great bonds on this. I should think so as well. You did quite a lot last year. I did. I did. She's um, she's getting close to being. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah. Getting close to being a finished mermaid. 
and garlic. Absolutely well, I'm just, stunning. I'm working on the tail at the moment, so hopefully I will get the tail finished and I'll be able to fill in this bit here on the tail as well. And then, depending on how well I do, I may be able to start leading. But we'll we'll see how we go. Yeah. So um, I'm really Ooh. pleased that this one has come out because I've been waiting all year for it to come out. Um, well, like I said, we, we only have three numbers left. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So she is uh, being stitched on 28 count... Uh, I think it's a Brittany, it's Sparkly's and this one is called Cancer and it was, when I got the fabric it was one of the new, um, not horoscope but celestial signs, I don't know what they call them, um, it was a series of different dyes that, that Kate at Sparkly's had brought out um, and it just... <coughs> She's a mermaid and it just fits so well. She had, there is stitching there as well. Yeah. You can only just make it out on the hour. But I, I like her face, me. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, she's very elegantly posed, isn't she? So, yeah. Take tips. Ooh. Posing. Posing. But she's a poser. Yeah, so um I think that went over her head. It did. Um so yeah, you will um see how well I do with this. Yeah, because you you've you finished your last roll of the dice. So Yeah, I did. Yeah, I actually got a roll of the dice finished. Um for once this year. So uh yeah. I'm pretty glad about that. Yeah, you've done well. I've done really well. I've done exceptionally well. Sorry, I'm trying to get it back in the bag. Right, just put the shoulder on the dice then. From last month, yes. it was Spirit of Alanda, and I did loads. I did loads. So, when you last saw it, um, oh, bear with me. There we go. I had only partial. Mm -hmm. on there I've since finished the next motif started the next one on and started working up with this border as well so I've actually done loads on this so I'm really pleased with that you've not got an awful lot left to do on it now no. have you? and I think once I've got the alphabet out of the way yeah and that top border it'll be very it's, it's just a case of the motifs because there's thousands of stitches in one motif, mm -hmm. they do take quite a while to do. But um, I learned a trick from Tammy. Yeah. And it's working um, seven days a week, 25 minutes a day on a single piece. And that's what I did with this. And I managed to get the whole of that motif finished. Mm -hmm. So, it's but, looking really good. Yeah, and then unfortunately, other things need to be done. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how this is turning out, and hopefully, we'll get back to it as soon as we can. Yeah. Because I want to keep it in the five or five. Mm -hmm. But we'll go through five or five shortly. And my number two, you'll be glad to hear, is Maria. Which, I don't know if you can see, so I don't need to take it out of wrap it. There we go. My hands across the seas. And she's a big girl. She's a very big girl. Haven't done anything since we last filmed on her due to other things. Other things. But yeah, she's definitely a big girl. So let's see what we can do this month. Yeah. Might not be I need to get two things finished. One of them definitely need to get finished. 
but we'll go through that in a minute. So okay. that's my roll the dice number two. Yeah. Then I think I've only got Pandemic and somewhere else. Oh, uh, Jane Fiddis to come out on my roll the dice. Right, what have I still got to come out? I've got um, Ever Flowering Garden. Oh, yeah. Um, which is a new start. And. I don't know what the other one is. <laughs> I only know because I know for a fact I've not worked on Jane Fiddis. <laughs> I might even be wrong. I've got no idea what the other one is. Where's your list? At home. You did catch me on the hop today. No comment. Trying she, to she had me panicking. Not answering the phone and messages. I could oh, you're just pottering upstairs. Yeah. Let's have a look. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Um, the Yorkshire Stitchers. What else I had in there? Searching roll the dice. Come on, Ali, think. So I think I've done all of the new starts bar one, and that was a flowering garden. So what numbers have we still got left to do? We've still got four, four and ten. Ten. Yeah, we're right. Pandemic and Jane for this. So let's have a look at yours. That's yours, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, number four is, you don't want to do that. Wind Moon Fairy. Oh, how could I forget Wind Moon Fairy? <gasps> Heavens to Betsy. Well, I hope, I hope that comes out in December then. We're not doing one in December. What, roll? No, I'll roll the dice. We've only got two left, January, February. Oh, this is December. Yeah. Maybe I should go back to bed and start again. Um, so, yeah, so she could, she could come out, but I want to have a, a January start. Well, you can have a January start. There's no stopping you. It's your stitching. Because I didn't get one last year. So no, you didn't, because you were poorly. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, so my two a wind moon fairy, um, which is a dimensions, dimensions. Oh, moon. it's that dimensions one, isn't it? Yes. yes. Um, which I think I ordered from one two three stitch. Yeah. Charlotte found because I was like I couldn't get it in this country. Um, Charlotte found and, it. Uh, Charlotte found it, and I think it was one two three stitch, so I ordered it, and. Um, and I tracked it <laughs> when it was wending its way to me. Um, and I couldn't believe it when it arrived. I was like, oh my God, it is absolutely stunning. It is one of the most stunning designs I've ever seen. But the lady that designed it used to design for Heaven and Earth Designs, apparently. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So that and Ever Flowering Garden. And I seem to be the last one to start this one out of everybody because there was a whole load of us decided we were going to do Ever Flowering Garden. Garden. And, uh, and mine was the last one right to get far. started. I, I, I knew it were there. Yeah. But mine didn't get right far. And I really do. Well, I need to do a lot, don't I? So that's all I've done on mine. Yeah. It's still a lot more than I've done on mine, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> so... And mine is going to be on 28 counts, so it's going to be absolutely mahoosif. Yeah, because this is a 40 count and it's still massive. Mm. So, right. Where we're... Oh, I've got my book ready for next year, you know. I'm going to get one because... Um, look, 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 look. You have in your book, and Tammy has got one as well. Um, I'm <laughs> going to get... Might have to change that to 23, 24, 24, 25. Um, but yeah, I've got it all ready to, to put in. That were this year's. 
And you didn't put it in there, did you? No, but I can always change the dates at the top car. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's all ready to so, start. Yeah. But that will start in March. Yeah. At the Yorkshire Retreat. Yeah, because we always, we always, the very first one was started at the, at the Yorkshire Retreat. And we always, we do it from March till February. So, oh God. That woke me up. Oh, it's about time somebody woke you up. Right. Right then. Five or five. Five or five. Okay. So. so it woke you up, but she didn't even flinch. Millie is, is on the chair, fast asleep. So, five or five. So, once I finished... Um, pie menu and I did because I didn't want to because I wanted to finish it I didn't want to stop and I was hoping to finish it at the Scottish retreat but didn't because I ran out of thread and out of time um, yeah more like we ran out of time yeah although so, you did um, try your, your damnedest I, I did I really did I, I'd stitched literally until I was getting dragged out the door to go in, get into the car um so I kept going with it, so five of five kind of took a back seat this month, so I didn't actually do any of five of five until after I finished that, and I finished that on the 16th of November, and then I picked up Love Family Home. And as you can see, the house is finished and I've started, I've done one side of the gate, I've made a little start on the um, tree, but not a lot, because I was getting to the point thinking, if I don't put this down, I'm not going to get anything else done this month. So I put this away reluctantly, it has to be said. Um, and moved on to the next one. But yeah, I'm really coming along with this. I'm hoping maybe to get a finish by the end of the, the end of the year on this one. So yeah, watch this space. Watch this space. So that was that was number one. Oh, number two. Number two. Yeah. So next one is a castle sampler and someone had actually finished this, it was on the finishes table at the Scottish retreat so it has it spurred me on a little really bit, nice. it looks gorgeous when it's finished. So put that there and It's coming along. So I've, I had started doing the left-hand border last time. So I've done quite a bit of the filling in of the left-hand border. I've only got a little bit more to do on that. And then I can start doing the top border. Um, and then what I'm thinking is once I've done the full border, I will move up and do start doing the sort of alphabet border at the top. If you can see that. So, just to sort of be doing something different. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. And um, it's amazing how his Sandy, one of our friends, is also working on a Teresa Wensler at the moment. She's doing the storyteller. Oh, and it's it's amazing. It is absolutely she brought amazing. it yesterday. Um, she's not touched it for 12 months um, due to her being really ill. And uh, she's now in a place where she feels she can actually work on it mm -hmm. because it's so... Oh, it's, it, it's just so beautiful. It's an amazing pattern. And of course, it's got the story at the bottom as well. Yeah. Um, of the storyteller 
and um, yeah, it was. I mean, what she'd done yesterday, she was doing the the one over one. She'd done the the bird and the and the lizard. And I was like, oh God. And it's on forty, isn't it? Was it? Yeah. Oh, it can. Yeah. So. Um, nice. Yeah. So next one is Cheyenne Winter. I didn't even bring the fabric with me today because it's on that Q snap. That, that Q snap. What I'm going to have to do is go on to a smaller one because it is too big and up my arms aren't, aren't very long. So I'm struggling. I can't go like that. Why not go like that? Yeah, but yeah. You know how I'm stitched. So, well, all you need. Oh, the dust sticks. Come here. Five. All you yeah. need is that size. Yeah. But there's so much fabric. Well, you can just have your fabric hanging down or put it on a. I don't know, one of them. Well, it depends. Some sort you want out. See, because I, because I don't. Because I stitch in hand, I don't have any of these fancy accoutrements. Nicola, Nicola, <laughs> she needs one. Please, Nicola. So, yes, Nicola Smith, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hi, Nicola. Um, so, I did do a bit, but it was awkward. So, just to remind you, this is Cheyenne Winter. But what... I did discover when I was looking at the at pattern on the back of the first page it tells you a little bit about the buffalo hunt uh, but then it also tells you a bit about the actual artist of that uh, that is a painting or it's an amalgam of two of his paintings because okay. I haven't been able to find the one that matches that completely but there are two that I think they've combined um, and he's um, is it? I think he's from America uh, New just Mexico. as a guess the, the artist is Art Menchengo um, and he's he was on a Pueblo reservation in New Mexico um, and he basically, he a lot of his paintings are around the, the old way of, of life with the Indians um, and the Cheyenne and so yeah, so I, I, I kind of got a bit sidetracked with this really, really bit on the back. Um, but yeah, so um, I shall have a, a rethink about how I'm... Why don't you, you do it as you 25 minutes a day? I could do, yeah, once I get myself sorted out with, um, with the right size of frame. I can frame. blow you one, it's not a problem. Um, <laughs> it's if I haven't got plenty. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that was, that was number four, I think, and then, the last of the five and five is a little, oh yeah, heritage bookmark. Did a bit of this yesterday when we were at the Red Lion. Did you? I never saw you do that. Yeah. Although you were sat... I was socialising. You were so socialising, I was stitching. What does that do? So, anyway, I'll just put this round. I did a bit of stitching as well. Yeah. I didn't do a lot, but I did some. So, More than what I normally do. So, just a little bit more on the leaves. The shading on the leaves. Um, and I'm moving on to the second rosebud, and then I'll be able to start on the um on the other rows. That's so nice, you could have that finished. Yeah. Um and then 
this was with all the dice that was sort of left behind. And I did a bit. You did a bit last night when I we did were a on bit our last chat. Night when we were chatting. Um, this block in the corner, his blazer is still giving me a bit of bother. So oh, I did a little yeah. bit of frogging on it. So this this block here, um, I'm having to, I've unpicked a little bit of it last night. And I'm starting again from this side with the blazer. Did you use your new tool? I did, yes. <laughs> we'll show you in a minute. Yeah. I didn't bring mine with me, it's on coffee oh, table right. mine's here. But um yeah, obviously I've not got as much done of this as I was previously hoping to, but I'm gonna spend the rest of the day on this one and up until Wednesday. Stuart <laughs> Gorillas Yeah, how's that for a conversation starter or stopper? Because <laughs> I think it stopped a lot of conversations. <laughs> if you remember, in our, if you've watched our past videos, if you haven't, why haven't you? But if you have, Ali's got it in her head that the shadows of the horses at the back look like gorillas. Yeah. There, there. At the retreat, she she walked up to our, our lovely friend Stuart. I think exactly. I, I, I sort of galloped across the room, didn't I? Yeah, and just come out with gorillas, <laughs> and he went, "What?" <laughs> um. Oh yeah, we are recording. All right, just was. Yeah, we're on thirty-two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> just checking. So, so yeah. yeah. So hopefully, I'll get this block finished before Wednesday, um, before we start it's all over again. Five of five. Yeah. There you go. Thank Are you, you going to stick it in your new five of five? Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. keep on with it. Right, so um, my five of five. What did I have on my five of five? We had... Miss Brune. Oh, yes. Brune. Brune. The Brunes. Yeah, Miss Brune. As you know, Miss Brown is a, a model stitch for Northumberland Sampler House. It hasn't been released yet. It will be released, I do believe, in June as part of the Scottish stitch along that she started doing every year. So, and... Um, I want to get this finished before Christmas. There we go, look. Look at that look, house. Look, there's a house. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm really pleased with that. So, as you can see, I don't have much more to do. I've got a bit of back stitching to do, but uh, other than that. Have you fixed that 14 yet? No, I've not touched that 14 yet. And so I've just got one row of alphabet to go above that. Um, and that's done. And so that's the and then bottom. You've, got, you've basically got that there on the other side. Yeah, well, and you? there is a big bird above the house. Okay. Big bird? A big is bird. It yellow? No, it's not yellow. <laughs> Oh, honestly, but look at that house. I'm really pleased with that house. Can you see it? It's a very old-fashioned house, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's the way probably a child would... Maybe not... I don't know if she was a child or a teenager or how old she was. She's a child. Was she a child? Bear with me. Bear with me. La 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 la. Uh, where's my drop box? I don't know. Why don't you do? Because it's your really good. <laughs> drop box, Miss Brown. Miss Brown. Sauce. That's it. 
can see it better. Oh, it was 1816. Oh no, she's not put a, a year, a birthday on it. So, oh well, worth a try. That might be why we can't find her in census at all, because it's such a common name. Yeah. Well. Oh. And we don't have any of the names of, we have only get initials for the rest of the family, so. Yeah. And in 1816, we know that several of them were dead already, so. Yeah. So that was one of my five of five, and she will be staying in five of five because, as I said, I really need to get her done. Yeah. And my other five of five, we had Spirit of Alanda, which you've seen. Then we had Edna, which we started and finished. <laughs> and um, Matilda. And we finished a big motif on this the other day. Would you like to point out? It was that one, wasn't it? It was. And then yesterday I did two smaller ones. There's two. So I want to get Matilda finished as well as Miss Brun um, for Christmas. Which I can do. Can. I didn't have a social life. Well, I don't have a social life, and I have got <sighs> Captain Hell's chance of getting out finished. So, anyway. Now, the other five of five was Maria, but I didn't get out done on her. But saying that, um, a fortnight ago, we went up to Scotland again to Stranra. Mm -hmm. and the weekend after the, Sc the Stitchman retreat. Yeah. And um, I actually worked on uh, Elizabeth Weston while I was sat in the hotel room. So once she gets just over 300 stitches in her mm -hmm. paper bag. So Elizabeth Weston, we're doing in the called for EMC. Keeping you awake. Boring her. I have been awake since five o'clock this morning. Whatever. There we go, Elizabeth Weston. And we did some more of the top border. There we go. We managed to get another flower done. Yeah. Very pleased with. I just think it looks really delicate on that fabric. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I can tell it's starting to get dark. I know. So that was Miss Brun. Uh, I'm obsessed with Miss Brun with uh, Elizabeth Weston. So there we go. So that was my five of five. Uh, for next month, we're going to concentrate on Miss Brown and Matilda, and then I've, obviously I've got Maria for my roll the dice. And Spirit of Lander, I'll keep that in. So what can I replace Edna with? I don't need to replace her with anything. I'll just carry on with Elizabeth Weston. That's yeah. five. Yeah. Sorted. Sorted. Don't forget to write it down. All right. So... Acquisitions. Acquisitions. Right then. Believe it or not, Ali's got acquisitions. I know. It's not often, but... Yeah. I hope these you can see us all right, because it is starting to... It's getting a bit dark outside. Something to do with time of year. Yeah. So, um, you remember a couple of months ago, the lovely Jane from our... Uh, Yorkshire Stitching Retreats who comes to the Red Lion she gifted me uh, the four Teresa Wentzler um, hobby horses 
from the merry-go-round. The um, carousel the, horses. The carousel horses. The spring, summer, autumn, winter. And then our friend Di said, oh, I've got the carousel. Do you want it? And it's lovely. It is so, so nice. Love it. So I think that would be a lovely, have that in the centre. And with then fifth. The, the four horses. Two, 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 one. Yeah. Not all in the same piece of fabric. I okay, hate some two ads. Oh, come on. <laughs> but yeah. So. Excuse me one second. I'm going to put the main light on. Yeah. Because it is getting dark. It's, it's quite dark. So I do apologise. Carry on talking. Okay. So the... Um... Oh, look, you can see it's up. Um, so the actual... I don't know if you can see this... Normally with Teresa Wentzler, there's loads and loads and loads of threads, loads of blends. And this one, actually, there isn't that much. It's not too bad at all. Um, and again, it's a hand-drawn. It's one of the old ones. And it took me a while to, to find the... 1988, this one is from... And we kind of worked out that she stopped designing about 20 years ago, so... Um, so that takes it down to 2000s. Yeah. So, uh, so yes. So, thank you for that, Di. Um, and then, last Sunday, mm -hmm. we went for lunch to the Red Lion. Um... Di was on her way up to Cumbria and she was going past us anyway and she said, why don't we all meet up and have Sunday lunch together? Yeah. Which we did and we had a lovely Sunday lunch. Thank you, Stuart. It was gorgeous. And she very kindly brought us all gifts. a little gift. Um, Which she didn't have to do. She did not have to and do. Very unexpected and very, very... Very grateful, yes. but, you know, she didn't have to do it. I'd like to point that out. We'd not... And, and the thing is, I think she got us all completely spot on, didn't she? She did, yeah. With... And she, she was so chuffed that she surprised us all. Yeah. Um, but this, this is the one that she gave me, which is Cat Lovers by Jardin Privé. I love Jardin Privé, but for some reason, this one had escaped me. I hadn't even seen it, and I absolutely love it. Um, I'd like to point out, I've actually got it upstairs. She's, yeah, she's got it already, didn't tell me. Um, so this is going to go into Roll the Dice next year. I've already checked the um, threads. I only need to get two. Um, so all I need to do is sort out a fabric. And I and... don't even need two. Cause, yeah, because she was a Zalonicro. Because that's what she got me. Oh, there we go. Quaker de la Far Farme. Farme. It's farm. If you look, it's all farm stuff. Look at those sheep. The sheep are dead cute. Look at those sheep. They're really, really, really cute. So, yeah. So, I only need one colour. Yeah. It recommends DMC 815. Mm -hmm. But you're going to do something. Or might do a yes. variegated. Yeah. So there we go. So um, that was mine. And she also got us a lovely oh, yes. tool. You don't get yours out yet? No. It's not right after nine. After frog, is it? Sorry. You'll get some frogging to do on Miss Brown. Brun yeah, we know. Mr. Rin. So it is a um a, a, a thread on picker. Yeah. Seam seam ripper. Ripper. And this gadget that fits over the top so you don't prick yourself. Um is an eraser. Yeah. So when you unpick and you've got residue, just rub it on it and it disappears. Yeah. And the bit at the bottom is also, it's made of the same stuff, so you can use the bit at the bottom as well. Oh, right. 
things up. So, so yeah, so apparently it's supposed to be really good for if you've got a rag that stains your fabric. Yeah. Pops it off. There you go. I did mention it on for the love of stitches, mm. and somebody did comment, "Get it out of the packaging. It is brilliant." Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. So um, and then my my last acquisition is. Oh, I forgot all about that. So, when we were at the Scottish retreat, um, one of the stitches is, that goes, um, Gordon, um, he goes with his mum, Jane, um, so hi Jane and Gordon, and um, there is a bit of a story attached to this. Um, but it's getting dark. It's getting dark and all. So, um, Gordon was stitching Starry Night, the Van Gogh, and he he finished it fairly recently, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. And he got it framed and he brought it along to the retreat so that everybody could see it. Um, and I had got him, I think it was at the March retreat, um, oh, from Sharice, uh, Sharice Raven. Um, I got him thread key, uh, thread needle minder, and the little needle tin with Starry Night on it. And I thought, I've got to get that. He's he's doing it. I've got to get it for Gordon. Um, no, yeah, no, we'd be seeing picture. him. Yeah, that's it there. There we go. This is um, so that's his finished Starry Night. It's absolutely stunning, and the the framing is is beautiful. It's just perfect, isn't it? Yeah. So <coughs> prior to getting that finished, he um, he had it in a briefcase and he left it on the bus. It's a train, boy. wasn't it? No, I thought it was a bus. Oh, I don't oh. know. Um, and, of course, he thought that was it. It was gone. But it was handed in and he did eventually get it back. And um, but when he got it back, he decided that he didn't like the fabric he was doing it on, and so he started it over again. And the restarted one is the one that he'd finished and framed. And when I saw him on the Friday at the retreat, I said, "Oh, I've got a present for you," and he went, "I've got a present for you as well." And um, when I went over to give him the needle minder, he gave me this. And it's his original Starry Night that he was working on up to when it disappeared. No, it wasn't it finishes there. Oh right, okay. Um and he wants me to finish it. So thank you, Gordon. Um so I need to sort out the, the chart, obviously. I like how he's written top at top. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so completely unexpected, but apparently certain people knew about it. Tell you the truth, I've forgotten all about it. Yes, yeah, so I'd said Susie, because um, I was, um, a lot of you will know that I was um, very ill last year and had to go into hospital for a big operation and... Um, and Gordon had got in touch with Susie. Susie and said, Do you think Ali would like this? Yeah. Um, and he was going to send it to me. Um, and I never got around to it. And then I thought, Oh, hang on a minute, she's going to be at the retreat. So, so thank uh, you. You were a lucky love. lady. I know. I know. So I've just seen my acquisitions now. Yeah. Really? Yeah, go on. I can have rested. I can, actually, well, I've got my <laughs> iPad out. Yeah. I bought this the other day. I'll just put the specs away. Hang on. Right. Um, I need you to go away. I don't want to go away. Anyway, it's Mary Atkinson. Mary Jane Atkinson by um, Wild Starry Snaps. And the thing is, my paternal line. Uh, sorry, my maternal line 
Is that Kristen? Yeah. She was Miss Christie Wilkinson, wasn't she? She was. And my um my granddad's grandma um had my great granddad out of wet luck. So she was in Atkinson as well. So <laughs> yeah. So I like my family tree. But yeah, yeah so that's on my to-do list for next year. Yeah. There we go. So what else did we get? Wait, right, at the retreat, we bought a fabulous, sorry, a fabulous, a fabulous, fabulous bag. <laughs> and that was from our lovely Mr. Stuart McCook and um, a thread a needle holder. Oh, nice. Yeah, same material. So, nice. yeah. And it's really thick. It's got oh, really it is, isn't it? thick yeah. wadding yeah. in it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Really well made. Very neat, Stuart. So, yeah. So, I bought that. And then, because um, Arts and Designs we're there, where are they? There they are. I've got that much. Yeah. I um she went a bit mad, shall we say? Uh, and because my husband ended up meeting up with us on the Saturday night and Sunday morning, um Susie uh, did you do it? No, you were still sat stitching. Um Susie and Sandy dragged him to the shop to get my Christmas present. And so I've got a Bella Filipina coming for Christmas. So. <laughs> anyway, I bought these. So we've got um, Sophia Doggett. And it's only two colours. I really like that because she's a Quaker. Sophia Doggett, yeah, she is, isn't she? Yep. And then we've got a brother and sister, which is... Emma and Martin knowing Noah Hubbard. Yes, little boys did stitch as well. So they're two little ones for me to do. And there's only three colours on that as well. And then I've got Memories Past. I love the colours on there. The colours are to die for. Lovely purples and lilacs and violets. And, oh, yes, yes. And before I went to the retreat, um, I got some stitchy post, and we got Plum Streets Grace Doth Abound, uh, Cardinal Kin. And Autumn Cottage. So I'm going to be busy. And when we got back from the tree, the retreat, my fabric of the month came. And it is perfect for my um, Bella Filipina that yeah. I've got. I can't even remember the name of it. Is it um, a new one? No, it's not the new one. But I've got. That lovely colour. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, under this light, it doesn't look pink. It's more of a a lilac. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas kind of lilac. Sandy thought it was pink. Yeah. Because it it changes with the light. So and it's the perfect size. Yeah. Okay. Then, then. At the retreat, the Yorkshire retreat, mm -hmm. I gave our Nicola some fabric to make some bags for me. Mm -hmm. And I've got two of them here, but I don't know what I've done with the other two. But we've got that one. And this is Jules fabric. Got those bees. And 
We've got that one with dogs on. I like the contrast as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh. mm -hmm. good day. Yeah. But that's not all. No, it's not all. So we've got that. Our lovely dye brought it with us. Mm -hmm. So, which is five small samplers, red samplers. Yeah, I still know I've got a video to do on red samplers, but there we go. And then I've been buying some books. We've got a Welsh sampler book. It's only small as this one. Yeah. But there's some really nice samplers in here. I'm wanting to uh, expand my knowledge on samplers and my collection um, but with this book as well you've got there we go you've got the text written in welsh and then the text written in english which i think is that's brilliant yeah. yeah so like, like i said well, it's, it's only a it's small a, one it's a welsh book about welsh samplers so yeah why not then i've got another book on samplers mm -hmm. And there is some nice ones in here. Uh, let's oh, look at that. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely stunning is this book. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, look at that. So some lovely, lovely stuff in there. So you can have a look at that. Um, and then last weekend, Susie gifted me a couple of books. So I've got um, blue and white cross stitch. Are you trying not to yawn again? No. All right. That wall's looking yellow. Sunset, that's what it is. And so she. To get slightly tinged with pink out there. Yeah. And then we've got that one as well Borders and Motifs add to the collection okay yesterday oh, i've got mixed some fabric that i bought as well just to try it out from wool warehouse um and it's a 36 count um i can't remember the color that i ordered now does it not say on it no it don't no it don't but I think it was uh, Mocha. Um, so yes, Friday. Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. Um, so like downloaded a video about. Sorry, I'm, I'm pinching my iPad off so I can okay, show you. I was just, I was just nursing it on my knee. <laughs> um for his release for next year is sal is 12 monthly sal no that's not right there we go go away How beautiful is that? So I've signed up. I've even got the fabric and what colours I'm going to use. So we are using, sorry about the crinkle. It won't be one of our videos without a crinkle. So I'm using, she said, it's slightly nutty by Sparklies and it's got a bit of a, a pinky tinge to mm -hmm. it. It has. So, and I'm using, I need to get some more of these because I need five right. and six or six and seven of these. not shoving them in it. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get them. So we're going to be using Pink Sand by 
Week Style Works and Baby's Breath by Week Style Works. There we go. And they'll look lovely against that fabric. And if you are members of, is it Floss Friends UK with Sammy Sharp? Um, she is doing a um, a group on their site. Nine and eight. Nine and eight. Okay. Um, so yeah. So check that out because that's really good. Yeah. And we're also going to be doing another sale next year, aren't we? What did I do with it? It's something to the book. Tell you it. It's not. What was that one they were talking about? What are you on about? The cottage garden something. It's not under the book. I thought you were looking for your iPad. No, I was looking for the the sheets I had last night. Oh yeah, the sheet. I don't um did I bring the sheet oh, with me? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, so we're doing the snowman collector. There's myself, Ali, Susie, Sandy, and Dan. Dan all doing it together. So, so and Di is ordering the charts from us from Mary. It's um, Create now nostalgia. Yeah. Create yeah. nostalgia. nostalgia. So thank you, Mary, and thank you, Di. And I'm going to be in touch soon because I need some thread. Um. So yeah. So I think we're starting it in March, aren't we? Are we? Well, she's gonna. She's gonna. I think they're being released in January, and she's gonna bring them to the retreat in March. Or send them up in post to one of us to yeah. dish out. Uh -huh. So yeah. There we go. But we can if we've got the fabric we can start with the outlines anyway. Yeah, we can start getting the outlines on. Yeah. So um yeah. So I mean we we were talking about it last Sunday at lunch and then we showed it to Sandy and she just went Oh, oh. <laughs> Di went, I'll put you down for one, shall I? <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah. So really looking forward to starting that one as well. It's going to be nice to be doing because I've not done a, a sal for a long time. I can't remember the last time I did a a sal. I mean, I do crochet alongs with a yeah. Attic 24, although I'm always way behind. Um, although me wanting the hazel at work and sort of keeping each other going because one minute I'm ahead and then the next minute she's ahead and then, she, then I'm ahead again. So. I think what we need to do as well is... Um... Pick a time and a place and do what we need to do. But I'm thinking for next video, we need to maybe go through our plans for next year. Yeah. If that's all right with you all. Because mm -hmm. um, as you can probably imagine, I've got a lot of plans. Yeah. As soon as I get, I need to get Miss Broom finished uh -huh. and... Matilda for definite yeah. and then Spirit of Alanda because mm -hmm. they're so close to finishes yeah. I, if I can get them out of the way I can concentrate on other things yeah. well I want to try and get Enchanted Mermaid finished yeah. and Love Family Home hopefully I'll get that done because yeah. I've still got um, Red mm -hmm. that I've restarted and that fabric that I'm doing it on is beautiful mm. so yeah, so I think that's a, a goal for, for next video is yeah. plans for next plans, year. Plans for next year, because yeah, I was saying the other day, wasn't I, that we need to start thinking about what we're going to do for Roll the Dice for next year. Yeah. So it would be nice to, because when I get things and I'm like, oh yeah, I, want, I, want, I could put that in. Yeah. Um, and at least one of mine has now come out, possibly two. Um, some are in five of five because obviously we're going to have five of five as well. So, yeah. So, 
Lots bit to look planning. forward to. Bit of planning for next year. Yeah. Ooh. Most definitely. And I think next time we film as well, the sofa will be over there. You think? Yeah. Because yeah. Christmas tree's going there. All right, okay. So that chair will have to go here. My, t my, um, my tree won't be up by then. In a fortnight? No. Well, we've got the Christmas veil on the 10th. Yeah. Then I am spending the evening with my niece and nephew overnight. Uh -huh. I'm not babysitting. I'm just keeping them company. Yes. Because they're 16 and 14. Um, and then we'll have to film on a Sunday. Yeah. So, mm. Okay. Fortnight. So, and then a fortnight after that is Christmas, and we're not filming Christmas Day. No. Why not? Because <laughs> I'm going out for lunch. Well, there you go. Um, we've got a Christmas dinner booked at the Victoria Hotel in Bradford. With the in-laws, mm -hmm. just the four of us. Yeah. Half past one, all booked. Well done. I will be making soup and roasting chicken in my own sweet time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, at least let, let us know what your plans for Christmas are. Yeah, at least I'll be having a bit of Christmas dinner when I've lost you. Yes, you will. <laughs> That's definite. Because, <laughs> as you probably gathered last year, Poor Ali was in hospital for Christmas Day. Yeah. After it, after having open heart surgery. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, and the turkey when it arrived. I mean, I wasn't at that point. I wasn't eating a lot anyway. But hospital food generally in this country is horrible, and the turkey was about that thick. Anybody it was like think? a steak. You know, you get it for free. Just, just be lucky. Yeah, I know, but the knife that was provided to cut through this turkey couldn't even cut through your toast in the morning. So there was absolutely no way yeah, it was going to get through that turkey. You've got to be careful turkey. because you might decide to kill yourself with your knife. No, I just didn't want that. All oh, right. Useless. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I didn't... Mind you, I was sleeping a lot at that point. I was only a couple of days post surgery, so I wasn't really. And I was ringing the hospital a lot. Yeah, and I was um throwing up over doctors. That was quite funny, right. actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Um, and uh, and then Lucy, Lucy, lovely nurse Lucy, came in at half past five on Christmas morning, shouting, "Merry Christmas!" And I went, "Oh, bugger off!" And I just rolled <laughs> Glad you said that, not and not somewhere else. Yeah. So, um, but it was very nice because the, the hospital actually gave us Christmas presents, which was very nice. Yeah. So, um, big tin of shortbread and, uh, and some nice toiletries as well. So, yeah, so that was, that was very nice of them. But thankfully this year, I will be hale and hearty. Um, I promised one of my work colleagues, she said to me, please, please get your tree out of the shed before two days before Christmas so I need to rearrange the living room in order to accommodate it oh well, hence the reason why my sofa's getting moved yeah so right then I suppose we better start waffling yes we're just over an hour yeah, an hour, an hour and ten. ten yeah not too bad not too bad so have a wonderful couple of weeks stitching. I would say we're here in a fortnight, but you never you know. You never know, of course. Um, you know, busy social lives. Well, I have. <laughs> yeah. I just... In Harrogate next week, I'm getting... Right. I don't get <laughs> drunk. <laughs> but I will ha be having a few tipples. I can't believe you just come out with that. Hello, can I? Oh, we've got to say a few hellos and... Yeah, yeah. Hi. Bye. Hi to Peggy in Dumfries. Hey, lovely Peggy. 
um, and also to oh I've got to say you real <laughs> I'm real Oh, it was a we picture. Have, we, picture. We have a fan base and it's quite surreal, but it's it's also it's also quite nice. That yeah, it is. We've, <laughs> we've met people that actually watch us, which is it's really sort of, weird. Yeah. Um, one of the yeah, really. one of the ladies that was at Red Line yesterday, editor, editor, editor. I think. Um, it is. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, she came along to Red Line yesterday. Lovely lady, she's so nice. Didn't get long to chat to her, but hopefully we'll we'll sort that out um, in the coming months and weeks. Um, but yes, and she's also a fan, so that's really nice. Uh, and that's how she found us, wasn't it? Through, yeah. through seeing us on on Floss Tube. So, um, so it's really surreal. Yeah. yeah. People coming up to you. It's you. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Yeah. We get we did get it more when they saw us both together it was like it just sort of clicked, clicked. didn't it? because yeah. um, you would get some looks when you were on your own and they would look at you. It's like double take as if is it you or is it me? No, I can't possibly. Yeah, so yeah, it was lovely. And so thank you very much. So yeah. there was there was Peggy, Tammy, there was somebody else at the um, Yorkshire one as well. I didn't get a name. And then we, we've met Julie. Um, there was quite a lot of people, wasn't there? Lot, yeah. Yeah, there was a lot. And then of yesterday people. we had um, Nolene come. Mm -hmm. It was nice to chat with her. She's a big sampler fan. Um, so, which is, is good because, as you all know, that's what I tend to work on and I, I, love, I love doing. Mm -hmm. So, and she obviously watches for the Love of Stitches as well. So yeah, it was really, really nice. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much. So don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, tell your friends. Yeah. Just tell the world. Tell, tell your friends about these two nutty women. The Yorkshire Dollies. Yeah. Or the Yorkshire Dolly mixtures. And Ellie with her dry sense of humour. An alley that giggles. Yeah. <laughs> but you must admit it was funny yesterday. With me Auntie Liz. Oh god, yeah. There was a car parked right next to my car <laughs> and there was only a small gap, about I'd say about that much. It wasn't big. And um so my Auntie Liz says, Can you move move the car out so I can get in? I says, Well, can't you just breathe in? <laughs> Well, it was hilarious. Everybody just burst out laughing. <laughs> so, but it's, it's sly whips like that that give me my sense of humour. Yeah. Uh, which a lot of my work, work colleagues still haven't figured out. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is quite funny. <laughs> right then, we're going to have to go because um, it's getting dark. Yeah. So... Have a fabulous couple of weeks. Happy stitching and we'll see you all soon.